Fossil hunting is an incredibly fun and rewarding activity, and there are many places around the UK where we live that produce some remarkable specimens. One such location is Bracklesham Bay, a good site to find prehistoric shark teeth. So Doug and I set off to search for these traces of ancient creatures at a safe distance from one another. We're here at Bracklesham Bay, which uh, 46 million years ago during the Eocene would have been a nice warm subtropical sea. Uh, and at that time, loads of sharks and rays would have been swimming around here, and now you can find their teeth on the beach. That's pretty cool. Let's go. Find some shark teeth. Yes. She's, she's going to get <laughs> The area of beach we're searching along is specifically in the Urnley Formation, a member of the larger Bracklesham group, which crops up in several places in the south of England. When these sediments were deposited during the Eocene, southern Britain would have been 40 degrees north of the equator, the same latitude as modern-day Spain. It's not just shark tooth fossils that you can find here either. In fact, the majority of fossils we came across were shells of the bivalve genus Venericor and the gastropod genus Turritella. There are also loads of specimens of the Protozoan Nummulites, a kind of foraminiferin that are very prevalent in marine Eocene sediments and have been used as index fossils. Meanwhile, while I was finding all sorts of shells... So you've seen Ben have a look at fossils, now it's time for me to try and find some fossils. Um, however, unlike Ben, I have no idea what I'm looking for. I will probably pass over a few and be told off in the comments, and also the camera exposure's just messed up and uh, it's not really fixing itself. So, altogether, a more shoddy experience. Oh, there's, a, there's a footprint there, look. There you go. There's some science for you. That'll turn into a fossil in a million billion years' time or, or something. I'm like the audience's man. I don't know what's going on, so Ben has to explain it over the voiceover. And therefore, we win. And everyone knows what's going on, except me. There were loads of things on the ground earlier. Can't find anything there. Shark's teeth. Not a single as a horse foot shoe thing there. I'm just going to come back when I do find something. Because otherwise it's going to be me walking around showing you lots of white. Which isn't fun at all. Not, not even for me. We had read that at particularly low tides, mounds of clay are exposed where the fossils are buried. It wasn't low enough on the day we went, but the fossils can still be found on the sand from where they're washed out of the clay. Meanwhile, this just washed up here. This tiny little, um, well Ben will tell you what it is now. Oh Christ. It's lots of, oh, 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 hey, no. Nope. Hey, I want to go back to my fossil. Hey, hey, back. It's the sea, not a dog. I don't know why I'm talking to it like this. It's around here somewhere. There it is. There you go. Just washed up now. There you go. There's the uh, there's the fossil there. I haven't found any more fossils, but look how big this guy's foot is. So apparently a very good place to look for you aspiring fossil hunters out there is places like this where there's just lots of collections of, um, there's probably one in here that I've missed, uh, lots of collections, a uh, big collection of stones. So you know stuff collects here already. And so there could be your shark tooth just waiting in here. Could already be there, might have missed it. We'll find out later. I can't see anything. There's loads of these uh, worm casts out here. I thought fans of Worm Week may appreciate it log worms under the sand. Very cool. After searching for a while and finding many, many bivalves, gastropods and foraminifera, but no shark teeth yet, we decided to have a go at sieving some of the sand. Okay, now we're going to try sieving for fossils. It's kind of like panning for gold. Look for a bit where there's lots of broken shells, dig them up and you sieve. So let's do that. Hmm, yes. Might need some water. Oh, not that close. Oh, well, that worked, actually. Yeah. 
Ooh. Okay, well, as you can see, there's a lot of bits of shells. Uh, give it a quick sort through, see if there's actually any teeth. Apparently you can find some very small teeth hidden in here somewhere. None in there, is there? Doesn't look like it. There's a lot of bits of shell though. Let's try sieving again. Oh. Scoop it up. Oh, it's like a lot of fossils in there. Yeah, this water will do. And uh, do leave a comment if you see something that we don't. We don't necessarily know what we're looking for. It's always good to hear. <laughs> oh, oh, found a ray fossil. Hey! There it is. Uh, it's oh. not focusing. Not a shark, but still. Focus, you absolute. There aren't That's ray so sharks. Cool. Uh, no, they're not. Uh, I don't know if you can see this at all. I'll get some close up shots later. But basically, you can see there's like a ridge side and a smooth side. Smooth side. Uh, is uh, the side that would have been used to crush like shellfish and stuff. The, the rich side is the root. They're very different to shark's teeth because they, they used it to crush up like hard material. They just had like these rows of plates that were just ad well adapted for crushing stuff. So that's really cool. We've actually found that. Look at that. We continued sieving for a while, but we couldn't find any other ray dental plates or shark teeth. So we returned home, thinking that we hadn't found any shark teeth. But then my dad, as he was cleaning out his other sieve, discovered that a tiny shark tooth had actually been trapped in it. This minuscule tooth is about the same size as the ray dental plate, and we were pretty lucky to have found it. So we learned that it is indeed possible to find shark teeth at Bracklesham, something we've actually never managed before now. You just have to look very carefully. We also learned that sieving is a pretty effective method, and with more time we could certainly have discovered some more specimens. I'd highly recommend visiting Bracklesham Bay if you're nearby, just make sure to check the tides and have an idea of what you're looking for. I've linked to some good resources in the description. And wherever you are in the world, fossil hunting is a very enjoyable and gratifying activity that anyone can do. Just make sure you stay safe and stick to the rules of the localities. Well, I hope you enjoyed this different kind of video and found our adventure amusing. I hope you've been enjoying this year's Shark Week too. Be sure to look out for our last video on Megalodon. Also feel free to follow me on Instagram if you want to. I've decided to actually try and use it a bit more and there's some shark stuff on there too. A big thank you to our Patreon supporters, especially our Dinosaur Tier supporters Jan Owen, Corey Peterson, George Vodgetek, Persian Boy, Mike Pace, Mayer's World, Dhruv Srivastava, Jacob Stewart, Matthias Bergscher, Nicole Bueno, Pasta, Mark Fawn, Dominic Bathy, Harry Evert, and Alex Hawke. If you would like to find out more about our world, its history, and the wonderful life that surrounds us all, please feel free to subscribe to the channel if you think we deserve it, and if you would like to see more from us.